You know what's really amazing about motion capture? Is that when you think you have it all figured out, there's a whole world of possibilities that open up for you. And I've been having a lot of fun talking about motion capture with you guys, showing you over the years. And now that we actually officially over 100 students in the motion capture course, which I'm incredibly humbled to say, you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about motion capture, about how AAA studios do it, how indie studios deal with it, and I have been listening. So in part one, we talked about planning, directing, and how to receive that data for a motion capture studio. Now this is regardless if you're working on a big motion capture studio or if you're working by yourself. Let me show you what really happens once you receive that data back from the studio. So, how do professional studios handle complex animations? Or how do they actually animate multiple characters or vehicles, right? And how do they actually deal with a project in such a big, big game, incredibly complex with hundreds of people? That's exactly why I created this advanced course, this part two of the course where we dive deep into motion capture. It's everything I wish someone had told me when I was going from basic mocap to more advanced techniques. Because the truth is, once you actually go past those fundamentals, those motion capture fundamentals, a whole new world opens up for you. The problem is that navigating that world, it ain't easy. I'm gonna show you how the pros do it. The specific workflows, the collaborative processes, and the technical aspects of it all. This part two of the course is my attempt on pulling the curtain on it all. I think I know what you're thinking. Harvey, I'm actually a solo creator. So what about me? I'm not interested in working on big projects. I'm not interested in going big on a AAA studio. So what happens to me? Well, fear not, because even if you're working as an indie developer, even if you're working as a solo developer and you're handling the whole animation stack, the whole animation pipeline, animations, exporting, implementing, and all these other things, these techniques will help you to elevate your animation to a whole new level. Okay, so here's something they don't tell you a lot of the time. Motion capture is absolutely a team sport. So. Because of this, there's a sense that in order for you to actually achieve the AAA level quality that you need for motion capture, you need to have a bunch of different people around you. However, I'm here to tell you that with the right workflows, the, the specific techniques that I will show you, if you're willing to actually do this as a solo or indie dev, you don't have to spend the same amount of money. And if you follow the workflows and the techniques that I'm showing you in this second part of the course, you will be able to actually get the same high level quality of animations that a AAA studio would get without having to spend not nearly as much as they do in what you actually have to achieve for animations. Now, this is where it gets incredibly exciting. I'm gonna be telling you all about Perforce, a collaborative tool that we use in dev. And don't worry if you don't know it, I have you covered. I'll tell you all about it. We're also going to go into advanced mocap cleaning techniques. And we're also going to be talking about, of course, plugins, the fancy plugins. But it's not about the tooling or the techniques. It's about understanding why you need these things at such a high level when you want to create animations for a AAA type title. Now, we also, in this module, I'm going to finally be unveiling the vehicle rigs. The vehicle rigs, we've spent a lot of time modeling it, designing it, uh, making sure that we actually have them rigged really, really well. And just know that on this module, we're gonna be using them and they're gonna be awesome. Let's do it. You know what's really cool? Is blending two motion capture clips together, two completely different motion capture clips and putting it all together in one. Also, we are going to learn on how to blend motion capture and hand key together to give you the most bang for buck. And also, we are going to look at graph editor filters that makes you 
animate and clean up motion capture much, much faster because after all, this is necessary in order for you to churn out a lot of work. Now, all of this is what actually separates good from great animations and how you're going to ultimately get that quality up on all your motion capture clips. All this technical stuff, it's all in service of doing one thing. This one thing is actually bringing characters to life. After all, this is all we want to do with motion capture. And I have gathered 20 plus years of experience of all the mistakes that I made, all the lessons that I've learned, and all the technical know-how on how to actually make animations, not only at a higher quality, but a much faster rate. So you can also do the same and get animations and your games to actually have the best quality possible. So if you're interested in knowing more, click the link down below and check out Motion Capture for Games. A lot of love, a lot of work went into this course, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you guys. Now, until the next video, stay well, stay safe, peace.